Nicole, thank you so much. So do you love Fox Business's strange inheritance? You want a closer behind the scenes look at each story you just can't get enough? Well, tonight, my new show, Unpacked, is just that. Joining me now is Jonathan Towers, president of Towers Productions. He helped make all this magic happen. Um, so this is, this is my new favorite show. I love it, because I say it's like Antique Roadshow, but you put all kinds of family drama and baggage into it, and you really get to see behind the scenes. Unpacked is where we get to see the scenes that you left out, that ended on the cutting room floor. Let me play one for you, and we'll get the story behind it. Sure. He was helping a singer out of the car, and the car then was empty, and the taxi driver took off, and the Strad was in the trunk. My father paced the lobby the entire night, and at 5 o'clock in the morning, the Soviets invaded Czechoslovakia. This was August of 1968, and we were told we had to immediately leave the country, but we didn't have the Strad. So at that time, they prevailed upon the taxi driver to bring the Strad back. Everybody was waiting in the bus, and the bus took off for the airport. Jonathan Towers, this is so amazing to me. You have this phenomenal story about this $6 million Stradivaria, and at a time it got lost. And your show is so loaded with good stuff, you couldn't even squeeze it in the original episode? You have that many great stories, Jonathan? Well, you know, Melissa, we got to pack them and you can unpack them. I mean, that's we have different jobs to do here. And, uh, you know, that did not make it in the suitcase, that story. But a lot of good stuff did, as you know. No, it's amazing. And, and you know, um, Jamie Colby is always very polite when she talks to the families. And I get to come along and unpack and I get to ask all the questions that she's too polite to ask. Like, for example, one that I think is maybe the most unusual episode um, that is coming up. And it's about this hoarder in Illinois. He was a little bit nutty, um, and he, he died, and he left millions of dollars behind to two out-of-work actors who he had never met. Was that the strangest story you encountered along the way? It, it definitely is in the top several. I mean, you know, why, why did this guy leave this money to two actors he never met? Uh, and by the way, how did the actors feel about getting this inheritance? It turns out to be quite a sizable one. How did they feel about that? So those are the things we look into. Yeah. One of the things that I love about Unpack, the show and I, that the show that you and I do together, that's going to be on at 930 tonight, is that I get to ask you questions and I get to ask you, what was it like to meet these people? What were they really like in, re in real life? Were they really as congenial and as nice about splitting up the money as it seemed like it was on TV? We always seem to ask you that one, Jonathan, because it seems like the families play nice on your show. Do they play nice in real life as well? Not everybody, no. I mean, the show would be kind of boring if everyone were nice all the time. Uh, a lot of people are quite open about the disputes that occur. Uh, they want us to know about them. But, you know, the, the interesting thing is when people are talking about their own family, their own inheritance, their own parents or grandparents, it means a lot to them. And uh, so it's extremely heartfelt. And I think that's what really yeah. shines through all the time, whether there are disputes or not. Yeah. Jonathan, thanks for coming on. I'm a huge fan of Strange Inheritance. I love watching it. Um, it's going to air tonight at 9 p.m., followed closely at 9.30 by the premiere of my new show, Unpacked, where we dig down on some of the dirtier details of Strange Inheritance. It's a lot of fun. Please tune in.